Hi everyone, welcome to the Baguette Investor Journal for a new screening tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a sector screener in TradingView. So if you don't know what a sector is and why you should use them, I did a video, a previous video that will be with the link in the description. If you've not seen it, you need to see the video to understand first why we are making this screener today. Or maybe you understand already the point and we're going to go right to it. So in order to, to make your sector screener in TradingView, you're going to go to the screener field, uh, the screener window. So you're going to open it on the bottom left of your screen, click on there and you will have your list set on overview normally and this screener set on general. It can be, you can click on any screener. This is not important. You will be able to change the filters. So you select your time frame. It's not really useful because this is fundamental analysis so it does not apply to the time frame you select your marketplace you can select any country you want maybe you're living in the us maybe you're living in india maybe you're living in the netherlands i don't know and you're going to go to your adjust filter set i'm going to adjust the filters and you're going to go for sector so you're going to select there the sectors you've identified that are outperforming the market as we explained in the previous video so there you're going to select any sector so i don't know we're going to select health technologies and there you have all the stocks that are in the health technology sector listed on the united states stock exchanges so all of those if you want to select one particular stock exchange you type in exchange in the filters and then you can select either Nasdaq, for example. So there you can have only the stocks listed on the Nasdaq. And there is another thing that you can do. You can select the industry you want, right? So the sector is the big picture and the industry is the precise thing the, the company offers in. So if you select, for example, this stock, Dare Bioscience, you can see that their sector is health technology and their industry is pharmaceuticals major so it's a major company in pharmaceuticals sorry for my english so we're going to select industry and there we can select any industry that we want so the industry needs to match with your sector otherwise it will not be displayed or you can simply remove your sector and only print an industry so for example at that time semiconductors are really really strong so we can select semiconductors and it will select only the stocks from this industry so it's even more precise than the sector its industry and there you have only the sec the stocks that are about semiconductors listed on the nasdaq remember if you want them if you want all the stock market the stock uh, exchanges in the country you can remove the filter and there you have all the stocks that are from the sector uh from the industry um, uh, semiconductors on the uh nasdaq well no oh never mind you get the point you get the point i'm lost uh so you have also another thing that you can do is you can change your list. So you're going to go to there and make sure you're right on overview. And we're going to remove many of the things we have here. So if you want to remove um, a, a sorting list, you can click right click and go to remove column. We're going to remove the change. We're going to remove the PE. We're going to remove the EPS. We're going to remove the employees because we don't care about how many employees. And now you can see we have the sector displayed and we want the industry too because we want to know what we're screening there you go and now you have it you can see the sector the industry the market cap and if you want to add something you can add, always add something but i like to keep it that way and you can save your list as sector analysis for example and boom there you have it it's called sector analysis and when you click on it it will display the new list, right? So there, that's how you make a screener. Of course, you can add other criteria, but this is the basics for selecting sectors into uh, TradingView. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.